our Saturday evening on BBC One draws to a close now with a few softly spoken words from our weatherman, Bill Giles. My goodness, that hypnotist was quite good, wasn't he? He had me going there for a minute. But now that I'm with you once again, let me tell you about the weather over the next two or three days. And it's not a pretty sight. It's very much a wintry tale. We're coming into uh, quite cold weather now as that low pressure area tracks away southeastwards. And we'll all be coming back into these uh, quite strong, eventually quite strong, anyway, northerly winds right the way down across the country. At the moment, though, it's still quite, uh, the winds are quite light up in Scotland. So a very cold night there, quite a severe frost. And there will be uh, freezing patches of fog, too, over central and southern parts of Scotland. As well as that, there will be sleet and snow showers coming in on these northwesterly winds, most of them over Northern Ireland, uh, southwest Scotland, northwestern parts of England, some of them penetrating right inland, though, as we go through the night, and uh, quite a bit of snow, I think, on some of these uh, northern hills. And even right down in the south, you'll get uh, showers coming through, and a few of them could well turn out to be uh, quite wintry. And then, as I say, over the next few days, staying very much on the cold side, frost at night, quite a bit of sleet and snow around, especially over northern and eastern parts of the country, and that'll be drifting in these strong winds. As the northerly winds come in, so it'll keep this front away from us and push it southwards. In fact, if we look at the chart for middle of the day tomorrow, you can see those northerly winds just starting to come in across the country. And as I've said, they will be penetrating right the way down across and freshening up over the next two or three days. So certainly staying very much on the cold side, as it will be tomorrow. Highest temperatures about 6 centigrade or 43 Fahrenheit. And as you can see up in central Scotland, the temperature's barely getting up above uh, freezing, north centigrade, 32 Fahrenheit. Still this freezing fog around in central and southern parts of Scotland to start with tomorrow, but this will be clearing away as the winds freshen up, and they will become quite strong from the north as we go through the day. So, sunshine for many of us tomorrow, but there will be sleet and snow showers about too. Over in central and western parts, probably not all that many, certainly I think down in the southern parts, away from the southwest that is, uh, some places ending up with a dry day there, but these sleet and snow showers coming in on these northerly winds and pushing a little way inland too. Over on the eastern side of the country, some sleet and snow showers there, and you'll find them getting heavier and more frequent as we go through the day, and eventually turning out to be quite heavy, I think, uh, later in the day, with some drifting over the hills in those uh, northerly winds. And then staying very much on the cold side over the next few days, sleet and snow about, especially over at northern and eastern parts of the country. Well, that's the way the weather looks uh, this evening, but don't forget, we've got a program going out uh, tomorrow at 1.20 on BBC One. All the weathermen are taking part, and we're looking at some of the events of the weather over the last 12 months. That's BBC One, 1.20. The title, There's No Business Like Snow Business. Not too bad, I think. Good night. Well, while well, BBC Two now is beginning the midnight movie wartime story set in Rommel's headquarters in Egypt in 1942, Five Graves to Cairo, uh, we can look forward to tomorrow evening here on BBC One. This comedy in the Lenny and Jerry show at 7.15, followed at 7.55 by a new production of Bernard Shaw's masterpiece about the life of Joan of Arc, St. Joan, with Gabrielle Lloyd in the title role. The news is at 9.25, and after St. Joan Part Two, the last rite at 10.50 examines the right to choose between life and death. The man with no name at 11.25 is Clint Eastwood, and the programme is a profile of the biggest box office star in the world. Well, this is tomorrow night on BBC One. But for tonight, uh, that's all. So from me, Richard Straker, on behalf of all of my colleagues here on BBC One, at uh, just after eight minutes past midnight, we wish you a very warm good night. Good night. <laughs>